Hello everyone, this is Cassie with Creative Inspirations Paint. Today we're going to be marbling. For this technique, you will need a couple colors of inspiration paints. They come in these cute little jars. Um, I have Winter Frost and Antique Silver here, but whatever colors you want to work with is just fine. You'll need some Distress Ink. You'll need a paper towel or an old rag and a mist bottle with just plain water in it. You'll also need some plastic wrap. Um, you can get this at your grocery store. I think some dollar stores carry it. Doesn't matter what brand, just whatever you have in your kitchen is absolutely fine for this project. And I'm just working on I'm working on a plain sheet a plain of white cardstock. And you're gonna take a piece of the plastic wrap and just scrunch it up. This is what's going to give you texture. So you want to make sure you have lots of, of ridges and wrinkles. Shake up your paint. This mixes the shimmer in with the paint and makes sure everything is even. And I like to work with the lid for this technique. There's usually a little bit of paint in the lid and it seems to be a, a good amount without getting too much on your plastic wrap. So just dip your plastic wrap in and kind of blot it out on the side. Make sure it's how you want it. And then dab over your paper. You're not trying to make a thick coverage, you just want a random pattern. So twist your plastic and um, just randomly dab it. I know you can't really see it on the video with the winter frost, but in real life it is really amazing and, and shimmery and even on the white you can see the, the white. So you're going to get your next color and shake that up as well. This color you're going to apply the same way, but you don't need quite as much. This is an accent color. So find a clean spot on your plastic wrap so that you don't contaminate your second color. And do the same thing. Dab it in your lid and then blot it on the side. And then add your highlights. After you've applied your second color, you can apply another color if you want, however many colors you want. Um, you're going to want to let it dry thoroughly though. Um, you can sort of see the color when I get it in the right light. This is plain cardstock, it's not glossy. All that shimmer is from the paints. So I'm going to just clean up my mat really fast so I don't get paint anywhere that I don't want it. And bring my project back on. Um, you're going to get your Distress Ink now, and using an ink blending tool, I just have a piece of cut and dry foam here, you're going to want to apply some ink. I like to start off of the paper and work it on. This gives you a smoother coverage and less streaks. So just keep working your color on. You can make this as light or as dark as you want. The darker it is, the more contrast you'll see, and it will provide a more striking image. So just keep adding the ink until the entire piece is covered. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to get your rag or your paper towel and mist it lightly. You don't want it to be really wet, just slightly damp. Rub your wet towel over your piece. The paint will resist the ink and so you're just taking the ink off the paint. This really makes the image pop. You'll need to keep moving your rag around, getting clean spots, so that you're not just pushing the ink around, but you're actually taking it off. And you can see how, how beautiful this looks. And the shimmer is incredible. One thing I like about the Inspirations paint is they show up even on dark paper. This is pink highlights on a brown paper. This is a dark color. This is royal purple on the brown paper. And you can see the shimmer is just incredible. This is the same royal purple on a white background. I didn't add any ink to this one. I just left it plain. You can also do a tone on tone for a subtle look. 
It says sunshine yellow on a yellow piece of cardstock. For this project, I used winter frost and antique silver to do the marbling. I then used oranges and yellows and brown distress inks to bring out the autumn color. I then put the paper through my Cricut for the shape. This is a very easy, versatile, and beautiful technique, and I hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching.